The objective of this video is to demonstrate the different entry points of the OAB48 procedure for A320 family. This video was made on a development simulator for A321 at high weight with two angle of attack probes artificially blocked at a fixed value around 5 degrees. It is, however, also applicable to the entire A320 aircraft family. The aircraft is climbing in managed speed, with autopilot, flight directors and autothrust engaged in normal law. Further on during the climb, a first initial effect of the issue can be noticed. As you can see, the aircraft has difficulty reaching the target speed. This is due to the fact that in open climb or climb mode, the pitch order of the flight guidance may be limited by the value of the blocked angle of attack probes. Therefore, the aircraft is not able to reduce its pitch enough to accelerate to the target speed. However, this effect can also be experienced due to other factors. Therefore, this is not a criterion for applying the OEB48 procedure. When a turn is initiated, the increase of the load factor causes the alpha prot strip to move. The fact that the alpha prot strip moves is normal and it is based on an increase of the aircraft's angle of attack. However, here with blocked angle of attack probes, the alpha prot strip moves rapidly by more than 30 knots. Such an increase with the autopilot engaged and with the speed brakes retracted is not normal. This display is one of the conditions defined for the application of OEB48. It is due to the fact that the display of the V-alpha prot is limited below VLS when there is no load factor. When load factor is greater than 1G, the V-alpha prot is no longer limited. In this other sequence with blocked angle of attack probes and without an increase of the load factor, we can notice that the black and amber strip for alpha prot is completely hidden by the red strip of the alpha max. Such a display is also due to the fact that the display of V-alpha prot is limited by design to VLS minus 2 knots when there is no load factor. This display is another condition defined for the application of OEB48. When the flight crew encounter one of the two entry conditions of OEB48, they have to perform the same following actions. Keep one ADR on. Switch off two ADRs. Consider the use of FPV. Those actions will permit to revert to alternate law and therefore prevent an undue activation of the alpha protection. The final sequence of this video shows the undue activation of the alpha protection due to the multiple blockage of angle of attack probes at the same angle value. The aircraft is accelerating with autopilot engaged and MAC is increasing in normal law. The reason why there is no abnormal indication on the speed scale is because VLS is quite low and V-alpha prot is limited below VLS when there is no load factor. Then autopilot automatically disengages. The pitch is going down due to the undue activation of the alpha protection and the pilot tries to recover the situation. As the aircraft goes to a continuous nose-down pitch rate with a speed above VLS and the nose-down pitch rate cannot be stopped with backward side-stick inputs, the OEB48 procedure must be immediately applied. Keep one ADR on, switch off two ADRs. Those actions will allow the aircraft to revert to alternate law, stop the alpha protection and therefore enable the pilot to recover pitch authority.